Hi everyone, I'm Sasha. And I'm Scott. And today we're going to talk about our time in Fort Kent. The foliage season is about to start and we have these trees that are turning red and yellow and golden colors and it's just really beautiful. It's also getting colder than we want it to be. It's gonna be 30 tonight and that's below freezing. Yeah. That means... We want to go south. We're gonna be in the north for a while but... I mean we are right at the northern tip of Maine right next to Canada. But I think also experiencing a little bit of cold weather makes you appreciate the warmth more. Yes. Because right now I'm all bundled up. I had to wear leg prisons. Pants. pants. Most for people the, call them pants. For the first time in 11 months and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Someone has to tell him that it's okay to wear pants. I'm not sure if he's aware of that. It's okay to wear pants but it's not okay to be someplace that I need to wear pants. Okay. Okay. All right, we can go. I'm mailing a letter. Specifically, mailing a sticker because we're part of the RV Sticker Club. And it's been a lot of fun to exchange all of these stickers with the, the other people. Most of them are traveling in their RVs, but there are a lot of other people that just want to have our sticker, and that's super sweet. I think she was actually from Texas. But yeah, we've had a lot of people from UK, France, um, India, Japan, Germany. So it's been all over the place. Super cool. <laughs> I just want to comment on how irregular <laughs> that bell is. They're trying. That's okay. We've been listening to it all week. And it it rings at the wrong time. Like 5.45. <laughs> the swamp buck. I think I might need to find a pub, but not this one. That's actually one of their famous restaurants. Uh, there is the Swamp Buck and there is the, I think, the Moose Shack. So these two restaurants have the best ratings in the town. That's the border crossing over there. Right next to America's First Mile. So this is actually what brought us all the way up here. We wanted to see both ends of Route 1. Yeah, back in December we went to Florida Key West and we saw, I guess, the little monument on that end. Yeah, mile marker zero. Yeah, mile marker zero. And we were super excited. We, we wanted to find the end up north and we did. So we were actually surprised to find such a comparatively large town in Maine. We figured the further north we went, the less there would be, but there was uh, about a hundred miles of almost nothing. Yeah. And then uh, we got up here and they have pretty much everything. Grocery store, computer shop. Yeah. Uh, and a ski slope, actually. Yeah. The locals call it the ski toe, but uh, I guess it's a little tiny ski mountain. One of our goals was to hopefully go to Canada. Uh, we were hoping that maybe while we're staying here, the water would reopen. It's going to be closed until possibly spring, but at the earliest, probably January 1st. Yeah. <laughs> Battery's about to die. I'm going to run up the stairs and show you the view over to Canada. The river level is really low right now and someone was telling us that the campground that we're staying in will actually flood in the spring with all the snow melt, which is pretty hard to imagine because that's quite a bit of water level rise. 
Also, this is the trail, one of the many trails we rode on. The trail network is huge. It, it's hundreds of miles. It's all over the place. I guess most of northern Maine is full of yeah. snowmobile trails, ATV trails. Side-by-sides have, of course, gotten really popular, and that's mostly what we see up here now. But I think in the winter, this is like a snowmobile mecca. And a few days ago, we took a bike ride, and I guess I thought that it was going to be a, a quick little ride, but we ended up going for miles, and it was just never-ending path. We went straight for about five miles and I got nervous because I've been having problems with my bike and I didn't want to get too stranded so yeah. we turned around. But it's a lot of fun here. We were, I guess, not expecting to see much but this is really nice. I think if we ever get to go up to Canada through this way we would definitely come back and take advantage of the campground to maybe refill our water and dump our tanks and recharge our batteries. It's really cheap. Um, if you book a week at a time it came out to like $21.38. If not, it's $35 for the first night and then $25 a night after that. So it would be a great place to kind of stop before we headed into Canada. It's a municipal campground and you actually have to contact police department to reserve your site. Overall, our stay here has been awesome. We like it. Yeah. We will probably come back if we're ever in this area again. However, I think the real plan is next time to just go to Canada. We want to go right there. It's right there, right across the border. The light of perverted. What are you getting? The most expensive one. Right, right, right. right. Chicken fingers? Sample. Thank you. Alright, so we opted to split a meal because we weren't very hungry and it was a little expensive. And uh, it's absolutely massive. Look at the size of this thing. That was, I think, twenty-three dollars. Twenty-three dollars. Yeah. yeah. All of this. And we are still waiting for our salad, so it's not, it's not over. No, we they, they forgot the coming. salad. So the rest of the food came out. We got salads. Now. It's too much work. I'm tired from eating. I want to sleep. <laughs> we still have this entire rack of ribs and rolls to eat. I was so busy eating, I didn't finish my beer. You can finish it. Oh, I will. It's cold out. I personally was very skeptical. Skeptical? Wow. I was very skeptical about coming here because from the outside it doesn't really look great. But the interior was really nice. The food was very plentiful good. and very good. Yeah. So our waitress was really sweet and yeah. nice. The swamp buck, it was... We'd come back. It was a good deal. The waitress was so nice that she gave us some additional um, rolls. So I just microwaved them and I'm going to eat them because I'm hungry. We have this lovely New Camp mug that they sent us. <laughs> it's gigantic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have a Cirrus on it, but it does have a little new camp there, tab or tag. Happy camper. That's a really big mug, yeah. It's like a cup, yeah, like soup cup. So you guys asked to see more of our daily life. I couldn't fall asleep last night, so I ended up sleeping till like 9 o'clock today. And mm -hmm. feeling a little bit like a zombie. Haven't had coffee yet. The joy of packing up camp. It's always my favorite. <laughs> so we're going to get started on that, and we'll, we'll try to show you what we do. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go give, give my hands a wash. And it's back to conserving water because we're off the tanks now. 
We really, really love having unlimited water. It makes life much easier. But we also enjoy moving and traveling. So it's a trade-off. All right, so we, we finished packing everything up. Now we're gonna head off. We're gonna try to see a little bit more of where we, Fort Kent, and then we have to drive about three hours south to either Millinocket, Maine or Bangor. Yeah. But first, I need my coffee. And, uh, I need my coffee too. We usually make our own coffee in the camper, but we have a McDonald's with cheap uh, iced coffee. Yeah. There's no parking over there, so I'm gonna stay in this parking lot and Sasha's gonna go walk and get us some coffee. That'll be good. Good, thank you. <laughs> All right, masks. Hi. That's okay. Thanks. <laughs> coffee delivery. Thank you for the coffee. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if I could get through the day without it. No. No crash. All right, time to drive. Time. So right now we're, we're gonna be driving around town and we also have to return our campground key. I feel like this place is much more, I guess, neat and quaint and clean. We made it. We've seen both ends of Route 1. We're gonna get to the police station and then we're gonna get back on the road so that we can get down to wherever we're going in time to do her lesson at four o'clock. Yes. It's a three hour drive. We have four hours to get there. We're getting ready to leave Fort Kent and some of our followers on Instagram suggested that we take Route 11 south instead of taking Route 1, which is more on the, the coast. I guess Route 11, it's pretty desolate. There's no cell service for most of it, <laughs> but they said it's really pretty. It's like the true Maine woods kind of backcountry area. So we want to explore that. It's 100 miles. So we'll try to show you anything that looks cool along the way, but it's mostly going to be driving on the highway and we have three hours to get there. So we kind of have to keep moving. Yeah. Bye Fort Kent. So we're trying to figure out what to do with, with lessons is now we found this location. It's super beautiful. So let me text my student and hopefully I can reschedule. She doesn't really care. She reschedules all the time too. <laughs> so I don't really feel that bad. So hopefully we can do that. So it'd be nice to get some drone shots. This is totally why we, we travel is we're just cruising along. We spent two hours on the road. We saw some pretty scenery. And then we come to this spot and it's just absolutely spectacular. Mm -hmm. That must be Katahdin. I think so. It's the biggest mountain around. So while we back up our data and get the drone ready and charge the drone batteries, we are gonna reheat uh, last night's, what do you call these things? Ribs. We're gonna reheat the ribs from last night for lunch because we're getting hungry and we have yes, a lot of them. some time to kill. And then what happened with your student? We're gonna do it at eight o'clock? I think so. She, she was actually conveniently very busy, so she couldn't actually make it on time, which I'm very happy about and she decided to reschedule so hopefully tonight i'm going to have a lesson with her if not it's going to be possibly happening tomorrow i'm not i'm not sure yet
morning. So we didn't really finish talking about the sunset, but we had some footage. We ended up spending last night at a boat launching area. We're right next to 95 in Maine. I don't know where. We woke up to a pretty cold camper. It was 30 degrees last night and we ran out of propane. We we haven't been running the heat and uh, we forgot how fast the propane goes when you have a cold night. So I'm just gonna switch this over. We love our Aldi system, but we know now that it's gonna take like an hour or two to heat up, but at least we'll have heat. It's not too cold in there. It's probably like 50, it's just not super comfortable. So it's noon time, we're packing up. We've been boondocking near this beautiful lake, as you can see behind me. Uh, but unfortunately I had a lesson this morning, so we, we couldn't just leave right away. So while I was having my lesson, Scott was flying the drone and now he's packing everything back up and we're getting ready to leave. So this is our truck. We're gonna have some sandwiches and we're just gonna go. We're gonna go to Baxter State Park and then hike Mount Katahdin, but then we realized that the, the hike is very strenuous and we're not prepared for that. So we decided to skip it. The other plan was to do like small loop trail, but then... And then... We decided this morning that because we tend to work Monday through Friday, or actually Sunday through Thursday, yeah. that if we do that tomorrow, that's going to eat up our entire day, which mm -hmm. means we're going to be stuck up here for another week. And, and we have a bunch of stuff coming up that we have to get back towards like New Hampshire and yeah. New York for. And the problem that we're facing here is there are not a lot of services. We still need to do shopping, we need to do laundry, and there's just nothing really. So I think we're, we're driving towards Millinocket now, and mm -hmm. I think that there's going to be some grocery stores and things like that. Yeah. But I have the, the project to get working on with the alternator charging so that we can keep our batteries full. Mm -hmm. And we're actually, we're kind of running out of time. We have to be in Ohio in a month. We have to kind of pick up the pace. We have people to visit in New York, Central New Hampshire, Boston, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maine. So we kind of have to get back to that area and take care of all those things. So we've decided to skip the hike because that would eat up the whole day. We're going to just drive through Baxter State Park region mm -hmm. and then head down towards, I think we can probably make it to Portland tonight we'll see. and yeah. then back to uh, Epping, New Hampshire yeah. the next day. So we're a little bit further down the road and we found this really cool painted rock. Yeah, it's super cute. Keep Maine beautiful. Very cute. So we made it to Baxter State Park. It's very windy here and uh, unfortunately we have to go. Hi. I want a kayak and I want to go out to that island. I haven't been in a kayak in a year. How does it feel? Terrible. Over a year now. We need, we need some like... I really like those Oru kayaks. Inflatable kayaks or kayaks that we can disassemble and make them smaller because we have no room for them at all. But I've, something small would be really nice. I've been seeing those Oru kayaks online. They were like a Kickstarter and now they're yeah, available. And they look really cool. You never know. Maybe you can buy me one for my birthday. Sure. Next year. Scott is multitasking right now. He's eating a popsicle and also trying to scrub the windshield. Sometimes you really need to rub, yeah. Looking better. Throwing apart between them. But so we made it to Portland and we're excited to spend few nights here. Um, it's been super quiet. It's the Walmart that we found a while ago. Um, I'm gonna go buy some food because we ran out of our fresh food. We're gonna probably spend a couple days in Portland doing 
work. Well, work and maybe go on a bike ride or something. Yeah. I need yeah. to start working on the alternator charging system. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. I'm hoping to have that done in the next week or two. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.